Hey guys, my name is John Hamilton and today I'm going to be teaching you how to set up Blender's material physics and force field and how you can use them. So let's get into it and let's learn how to do it. So as you can see, this is a basic scene right here. You press play and the cube falls down and it kind of slides along this plane. Right. So let's say that you wanted to change the friction on this plane or a certain part of this plane. What you would need to do is you'd need to get your material and you'd need to come down, closing all of these panels, or you don't have to close them, but it just makes it easier, to you find this physics panel right here. So making sure you're in Blender game or else this is not going to show up. So right here you can see we have a bunch of different settings. Now, if you were to change the friction, obviously, up to uh, 3, what you'll see is instead of sliding, it kind of rolls because the friction is so high. Alright, so we have a few more settings here. So this is friction, and yeah, it's pretty simple. with not much to talk about that. But over here, we have the elasticity of it, right? Um... Actually, I haven't been able to figure out what this does. I looked on the wiki, and it doesn't really have anything about it either. So, if you do know how, how, what that is and how to use it, uh, comment down below. That would be very useful. So, over here, you can see we have the force field parameters. So, this is the material force field. If you've ever seen this and you're wondering like what this is, um, I'm going to show you how you can use it. So, what the material force field is, is... It when you, it gets when an object gets certain distance from that material, which you can specify in the distance thing right here, it will kind of push it back up like a force field. So it can't get in, and it will push it back out. Or you can have it when it comes and hits the area to just stop. So if we were to add, let's say, one to the force, because that's the most you can have, and the distance was two, so. When it's two away from it, from this material, it will bounce back up. So what you'll see is nothing is happening. Now, why is nothing happening? Well, that is because of our object. Not actually this. This is all set up correctly. Our object up here needs something changed. And as you can see, when you have a rigid body or a dynamic, you have this use material force field option. Now if you click this, what you'll see is our object starts using the material force field. As you can see, there we go. Now, let's say that's cool, but you didn't want all that bouncing. What you can do here is you have the dampening. So let's say you change this to 0.1. What this will let you do is let it as you can see, we don't have so much bouncing. If we were to change it up a bit more, it just stops it in its track. So you don't get all that bouncing, which can be a little bit annoying sometimes. So as you can see, it works perfectly fine. If you were to change this back off, you can see we get that bouncing. Um, now we have the last option here, which is align game object along the surface normal when inside the physics um, distance area. Now, if you were to click this, you really don't see much difference, and I have been trying to figure this out, but I don't really see what this is used for. If you do know what it's used for, comment them down below as well, because that would be really good for everyone that's watching this, and also me, because I'd like to know what that's exactly used for, but... As you can see, you can still use the force field, and it's pretty cool. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this tutorial, comment them down below. And you can also subscribe here to get updated when I come out with a new tutorial every single week. Or you can go to blenderreel.com and you should see the new tutorial come up there every week as well. So, see you next week and keep blendering.